Dot, dot. Flashlight. Flashlight off. Flashlight. Flashlight off. Okay, so we're gonna... I have my power supply turned on. Turn on the good old-fashioned power supply software, get it showing on the screen. And we have 61 milliamps and no light on my charger. So we go from there. And... Awesome, Anonymous. I'll make sure to not set it on fire. Custom battery pack hobby. You know what the funny thing is? On the e-bike Discord, they asked me many times, why don't I make my own battery? And the specific reason that I gave is because I don't want it to, I don't want to risk explosion since I don't have much experience. But given how poorly these packs from AliExpress are often put together, I genuinely believe if I put my mind to it, I could make way better battery packs than they do. Because this is pathetic. It's like, I've gotten battery packs where like, I literally take it out of the box and I plug it into something and it goes on fire. Like, they're that bad. That was a while ago. This one actually lasted for, you know, three weeks. But it's kind of sad because it was working at um, like one-fourth its capacity the entire time. Like, the peak power that I ever asked it for is one-fourth of its continuous capacity, which is kind of lame. So, and now I can't. The funny thing is I was actually going to go and take a little vacation to the bottom of Jersey, go visit Cape May or something, clear my head from New York shit on that bicycle and ride down there. Now I can't. That, I wanted to, like, you know, go down the streets and all that, view stuff, see what the towns look like in between. And today was the day that I was getting my third battery that I was going to mount on there so I'd be able to make the trip in one charge. So today was the day that I'd actually been ready to leave. And literally 12 hours before that, that, that last piece I need arrives, shit goes on fire. <laughs> it would have been better if it happened when I was out of town, Clay, because then it wouldn't have happened like right in front of my apartment door. Anyway, the company said that they are insured and they will cover my cost to what is, quote, reasonable. But they, they say that, they're, that it is absolutely 100% not them. But they also are so stupid that they say that putting batteries in power with a bridge rectifier makes it, quote, more dangerous. Which is the stupidest thing that I've ever heard. I think, too, in the unintelligent or misinformed, bridge rectifier sounds scary. It sounds like something that kills or destroys, when in reality, it isolates you're actually lessening the chance of something bad happening if you use that because each battery is now being asked to deliver half of the current that it otherwise would have been if it was on its own. She was actually dealing with them. I gave her my login. It's like, like when you almost set your girlfriend on fire, she might not exactly be excited about reading your messages right after you send them, you know? You did every now and then. She, she's a good woman. She's an incredibly good woman. Because you know what I would do if I was dating someone and they almost set me on fire? I'd tell them to go fuck themselves. And I'd move on. But Erica is the type of woman that you could almost set on fire. And she actually helps mop up the area where you set it on fire. A round of applause in the chat, please. For the world's best girlfriend. Can we have a round of applause for the world's best girlfriend? A round of applause for the world's best girlfriend? I've dated women before. Where... If we purchased a chair from a store and she wanted it assembled immediately and it took me 10 minutes, she would stare over my shoulder and watch as I assembled the chair and then yell at me and then anxiously berate me for how it's being assembled until the point where I am so nervous that I put the left arm on the right side rather than the right arm on the, on the, on the right side. And then she goes, I knew it. I knew you couldn't assemble a chair. I knew it. And screams at me over a fucking chair. Erica is a woman that I could literally almost set on fire. And she's like, oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. No, I'm just, I'm just glad you're okay. And like, really kind of, you got to be careful about the people that you choose to spend your time and your life with. You really do. And it's worth it to find yourself someone like Erica. It really is. For every one person out there that is an Erica, there's another thousand out there that are like my prior experience. And it, it, it takes some time. It really does. You know, it's not easy, but they are out there and they really do make going through the happy and the sad parts of life considerably better. 
How about an order of takeout of whatever she wants on us? Okay, that's way too much, Thomas, and I don't deserve that. But I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you very much. <sighs> but yeah, I just I, I think back to that moment where like, I I, I just ke I keep going back to that moment where, I'm. By the way, the other microphone that I have one on fire, so that's why you see this piece. This is the one that I kind of had to put back together with green shit on my face. Like, we buy a chair, and we bring it back home, and I'm assembling it, and she's just staring, staring, staring. Why isn't it done yet? Why isn't it done yet? Well, the chef goes, yeah! And then I get nervous, and I put the left arm on the right side, and the screaming occurs. And then, like, you just, you just draft that to, like... I almost set this woman on fire, and she's like, oh, don't worry, it'll be okay. Here, let me just help, help you clean. Don't worry about it. Ah, I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky guy. Okay, so. How about an order? Why, thank you, Thomason. At least now you, have, you can say you have experience doing your own stunts. Yes. I got a Moto G Play, actually. So for those asking about the phone. So this here is a Moto G Play. So I went to the Verizon store. And I said I want a new phone. I wanted to buy a phone that was cheap, because I'm, I'm a cheapskate. I think in the modern day and age, if you spend more than $200 on a phone, you're either not quite sure of what you can get for under $200, or you just, or you've kind of bought a little bit too much into advertising. That's my opinion, and it likely offends many people, but such is life. I buy what I buy, you buy what you buy. He says, well, we all, oh, the only Motorola we have on display here are the Edge and this one. And I go, how much is it? And he goes, like, 67 or something. If only the thermal sensor worked for a fang. Uh, ha ha. Yeah, the thermal sensor was in the motor, not the battery. There was no one in the battery. EM3V, by the way, has thermal sensors in their effing batteries. It individually fuses the cells. They individually fuse the cells. Yeah, so they show me a phone. And they say, oh, it's 69 a month. And I said, no, 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 I'm not interested. No, 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 not monthly. What does the phone actually cost? He goes, 69 a month. And I go, no, like, what's the full cost? He says, $1,000. I'm like, get it! No! Where's the Moto G? And he says, well, oh, this is the only one we have in display. Okay, so you have others in stock. Ah, see, I know the difference between display and in stock. I know the difference. Like, yeah, I just got to get the key to open it up. I'm like, yeah, I'll wait. He opens it up. I see a Moto G in the drum. I'm like, yep, yeah, that one, that one, the Moto G. And then he shows it to me, and he scans it, and he says, oh, it's 169 total, right? Not monthly? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, $169, liquid resistant. I can drop this shit. It won't crack. I can throw it in an ocean. It'll still work. It's fast. It's not bloated. It's a Moto G. I love it. You can buy five of these for the price of one fucking iPhone. Anyway, it's got a fingerprint sensor on the back. I can look at it, and it logs me in just by looking at it or waving over it. It's really awesome. I love the Moto series of phones, like the Moto G. Also, it tells when you pick it up, too. That LG G8, I bought it for 300 bucks used, so don't, don't get it twisted. I don't spend 700 bucks on phones. But, like, literally, when I pick the phone up, watch, so I, I turn it off. It's turned off. I pick it up, and it tells that I picked it up without hitting a button. That's fucking crazy. You could turn on the flashlight by doing this. So check this out. See that flashlight? Look at this. Look at this. It knows that I'm shaking it. I could turn on the flashlight without having to unlock the fucking phone. Pull the thing down. Oh, which one of these is flashlight? Oh, this one. Oh, whoops, I didn't hit it because it's 3 in the morning and I'm tired. Nope. Dot, dot. Flashlight. Flashlight off. Flashlight. Flashlight off. It's cool. All right, so 66 milliamps are not working. What do we do? 66 milliamps are not working. What do we do? Never regret anything. Chan saved your life for the price of losses. Better have fun, so here's a buck of it. Why, thank you, Ruslan. I appreciate that. Anyway. This? 60 milliamps, not turning on. What's wrong with it? Let's zoom in a little bit. Does it have three cameras on the back to show off to hot girls? I don't even know if it has a... Yeah, I guess it has this camera. It has a flash and it has a fingerprint reader. What do you need more than one camera for? One camera's good enough. In my day, you couldn't even see what the picture would look like at until after you developed it. You should be happy that you have one camera where you could see what the output looks like. Anyway. Look at this. Corroded! What is that stuff over there? Yeah, let's take a look and find out what that stuff is. What do we got here? What is this? What is this? It's 
Let's open up a board view. It's a tiny city. Yeah, but what? Yeah, it, it's, it's more like New York City. Because you see how you got a city, but it's corroding from the inside. See that? See that? It's rotting from the inside and causing, thing, and causing it to not work anymore. If you were to call this a little city, I would call this right over here Manhattan. So like this over here, Seeks Falls, South Dakota, so over here, maybe I'd call this like uh, hmm. Lincoln, Nebraska, I'd call this Manhattan, Brooklyn, <laughs> maybe a little bit of Chicago over there, a little bit of San Francisco over here. <laughs> uh, I would call. I'd say Texas is maybe around here. All right, so our corrosion is on PPVRTC underscore G3 hot. Now it's a G3 hot rail. As you can see, these are caps that are for PPV RTC G3 hot, the RTC, real-time clock, power rail going to the PCH. And I'm going to take a guess that there's a short circuit here. But let's not guess. Let's confirm. Let's use our multimeter using ama the amazing Paul Daniels' software. You know, I'm thinking that may be why my, my setup went on fire. I'm thinking that maybe I've just... I have not shown the proper appreciation of Paul Daniels over the years that he has deserved. Literally, as I say that, the software is not showing the multimeter on the screen. I tried to say something nice about you, Paul. Okay. I, and the funny thing about that, here's the thing that I find interesting when it comes to people discussing particular uh, stuff like that. What I found funny, a man told me to delete the video because it was, because w what if a woman hears it? However, my girlfriend listened to the conversation and she, she was smiling and then actually outright laughing. So that's what I find really kind of strange. Like someone who is outside of group X is offended on behalf of group X for something that you say. But then group X themselves actually listens and says, this is hysterical. I love this. Keep this up. Uh, I don't, if you want to walk in, you're more than welcome, but you have to buy it on the site and choose local pickup first. I have no way to take your money for that in person or to deduct it from inventory. It's something that I've thought of adding. It's just, I get one walk-in customer every three months. So coming up with, uh, so like setting that up just has not been a priority for us at the moment. It's something I definitely would want to set up in the future. But right now, I don't have a way to do it unless you buy it online and choose local pickup. That's me being lazy, and my apologies. But up until yesterday, I didn't even know that for two months, my website was not even working if you use Firefox. So we're working on things. We're working on it. Uh, we're working on it, for sure. And uh, that definitely explained why sales were down. You could not log in or use Add to Cart or use Firefox as a browser. That, that tends to... Uh, I went from Magento 1 to Magento 2. The first person I hired to do it, it was someone that actually had done work with me back and forth and did a good job over five or six years, who pretty much pretended I didn't exist for a year and a half and then said, I'm sorry, I spent your money on a developer that didn't do the job and I don't have it anymore. And now I have no money to give you back. That I would sue if courts were open, but I can't. And I got someone else to do it who did a 99% decent job, but I kind of sort of forgot that whole making it work in Firefox. Apparently that's an added feature. Yeah, the joys of doing business. The stories I'll have for my children. And that's just about fixed now with some other issues. But there's still some user experience stuff i got to fix. Here's some dough to help buy a real motorcycle. Why, thank you. I'm kind of looking at getting a, a motorcycle license. But I think you have to get a car license first. Which is going to be odd.
Because, like, I see how some of the motorcycles and cars drive on the road. Man, if you guys can get a license, I can get a license. Shit, man, if an Uber driver can get a license, I can get a license. However, driving a car is a motorcycle I am very, very comfortable with. Car, no idea. Why a motorcycle? Because I want one. Dr. Evil Genius says you can't be canceled if you don't give in to pressure. Yeah, that's a, that's a point taken. What is it that the guy says, uh, Tyrion in Game of Thrones? If you wear it on your shoulder, it can never be used to hurt you. Yeah, U I W. I actually told him I will pay extra to have this particular pack made with Samsung 35E. And I did pay the extra. I think that's the part that pisses me off at the end of the day more than anything else. It's when I, like, I see, this seems to, I, I'm starting to get why people lowball, I really do. Because people will usually assume that I cheaped out. Same thing happened with Eugene, they assumed I cheaped out. I actually did not go with the cheapest bid. I went with the, uh, I went with not the cheapest bid, but from a referral. If I had gone with the cheapest bid, it would have been 8000 cheaper. And it's like, same thing here. I didn't arrange by lowest price. Someone uh, suggested in Discord, this is a battery vendor that makes some decent packs. You can message them for custom stuff. I message them and I say, hey, I don't, well, how much would it be to ensure that this has a two wire BMS and Samsung 35 E cells? And they said, it's gonna be expensive. I said, I, I, yeah, I don't, but it's cheaper than buying new nuts. So I don't care. 30, uh, give me some Sa Samsung 35 E. I like me some Samsung 35 E. Some. So here's the weird thing. I measured for a short and there was none. Yet, I have a feeling this is going to work now after I turn it on. I'm actually going to be angry if I plug this in and it works because it means that life doesn't make sense. And there's been a lot lately that's been going on that just makes me believe that life doesn't make sense. And I don't like when life doesn't make sense. It's weird. Even if this works and I get to collect the money from fixing it, I'm not going to be happy because that means that things don't make any sense. And I don't like when things don't make sense. You saw, I measured. There was no short to ground there. None at all. Yet, I'm going to plug this in, and because life makes no sense, it's going to work. And I'm going to be aggravated. I should be happy that it works. I should be happy. But I won't be. Okay. Let's see what we got. You piece of shit! Why? You weren't even shorted! How are you working? Ah! There is no reason for that. Okay, well before we were at a few kilo ohms, and now instead of being a few kilo ohms, we're at open line. But still, but still, that's no, 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 no. You're a low voltage line. You're a three volt line. I refuse to believe that several kilo ohms is pulling you down to the point where you couldn't turn on. That's BS. Either way, it is what it is. It works now. It works now. It works now. I'm happy. Well, I'm happy as I can be today. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.